Let me see. Okay. Okay. So Virgo, what is up? Welcome to your first half of November reading. It's going to be short and simple. Okay. Short and sweet. Short and sweet. We're going to start off with your energy, um, your energy oracle. And then we're going to move on to your tarot. So let's see what's going on with Virgo for the first half of November. Virgo. First half of November, Spirit. First half of November. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, Don't forget, you guys, I'm going to start doing a Patreon. I'm going to start doing extendeds. So it's like if your video is like 10, 15 minutes, like uh, like regular, then I'm going to, all the videos most likely are going to be like 10, 15 minutes, like additional on the extended. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. I'm also going to be doing lives just because I want to vibe with you guys even more, right? So yeah. So, if you're new to my channel, welcome, okay? For all my little wonderlusts, welcome back. What's, what's this? this? <laughs> so, yeah, what's the energy for Virgo? Please, spirit. I feel like, ooh. Beauty wanted to come out for a while. So, I mean, for a couple of times, actually. Uh, so, I feel like, Virgo, you are actually, you know, oh, let's see what's going on. Yes, new beginnings. There's that beauty that's coming in. Okay. So, where am I even going to put this? Oh, <clears throat> 44 could mean of significance. So this could be like an attraction that you're having, right? Manifestations that are coming in um, for you because it's just the, the fact, the fact that you have that empowerment with your person, okay? Um, whether you're in separation or not, okay? So it's, it's like coming together. Like you guys are the two wings of the butterfly, if that makes sense. That's like the best analogy I can put up with what's like crossing my mind. Let this magic in my spell clear the space in which I dwell. So I do feel like there's the beauty of it. Remember the beauty card wanted to come out a while for like a good time for like a couple of times. It like, it... This spirit is telling me that it's time for you to embrace the flaws that you have along with your person. Maybe you guys were um, sticking out for a while, like as in like, oh, maybe we'll just like let this go. Maybe, you know, this just won't happen. And, you know, it's weird because as a Virgo, I my brother's a Virgo. There's always that moment where it's like, okay, I need to go into solitude real quick. And it's just like, okay. But I feel like you haven't done that or you choose not to do that just because maybe you have like a lot on your plate, you know, uh, take however it resonates, right? And it's just like, okay, you're leaving yourself behind. Does that make sense? You're leaving yourself kind of like, <clears throat> kind of like, how can I say this? Like, you're not doing well for yourself is pretty much what I'm saying. Okay. <sighs> All right. So let's see what we have. Okay. Let's see what's going on. So, oh yeah, it's going to be like a you versus uh, them pretty much type thing. Uh, yeah. So let's go, let's do what's going on with you and then your person. Okay. So yeah, Virgo, I feel like there's with that ten of cups, I'm telling you, you want this to be successful. You want like a successful kind of like outcome uh, in your life already. I feel like you've been manifesting this and you're like, man, I put in so much work. Like, what the fuck am I going to do? Like, <laughs> I'm waiting on this. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. But remember, you know, probably it's just like there's a little bit of stuff that you had to work up, work on. You know, you, you understand it. Some of your, yeah, you understood some of like, okay, this like the betrayalment, the mistrust pretty much maybe it could have been in this connection or within yourself maybe you had to heal some kind of like um some stuff if in your past right and you know that's kind of like what held you back so it's like spirits saying you know no 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 you're like you're on the right track just continue doing what you're doing thank you spirit yes because this is gonna bring you prosperity this is an opportunity for something to be grounded i feel like you're good on your own virgo um but i f i also feel like you want that like uh that new beginning with someone you want to be on stable ground and i feel like this is with your person if it's not then this is not your reading okay um 
So yeah, can I get one more? Wow, look, look at Spirit. I swear, I swear, Spirit's just like, just give it to him all. <laughs> but um, yeah, so let me see. Oh, exactly. Did you see what just plopped out? The lover's card, right? I didn't even see this coming. Uh, so yeah, the lover's card is out, you guys. Um, this is giving me like such vibes where you're like, okay, I'm ready to take this next step, you know, but there's still some clearing out you have to do, or maybe you're just like overthinking situations. You don't want to do that, right? You want to get out of your head. Maybe you've been in solitude for too long, Virgo, about this person and it's starting to get to you, babe. Like it's really, really starting to get to you. Okay. So let's get, let's see what your pop, your person has to say. <laughs> Let's, let's get some uh, cards out for your person, all right? So let's see what they're feeling right now. What's going on with them? Spirit with Virgo's person. Okay, so we have the Empress card here. Okay, this is telling me where, you know, there's like a lot of abundance that's coming in per se. Let me see if I could do this. Yeah, there's a lot of abundance that's coming in uh, for them or they're just like really coming into like their own. Yeah, there's a lot of like female energy. I feel like your person is, uh, they, they've been good on being single for a while. Yeah, Leo, you could be dealing with a Leo. Okay, strength card. They're very, they're very set on like what's going on with your relationship, right? Um, it, there could be kind of a little bit of contemplation, kind of like, well, fuck, like I kind of fucked up like this a lot of times, or it could be on you. Um, you kind of probably had some, uh, <laughs> some doing, maybe you guys both did on the, in the relationship you guys just mess it up with flying colors but they want to start a new beginning with you I feel like or they want to start something new with their love life does that make sense like and it, I feel like it's strongly with you Virgo okay so whether you want to or not like honestly if this is not your reading, you can go ahead and click off. And then we have justice, okay, for both of you guys. So I do feel, <laughs> I do feel that this is kind of giving you like the sense of, okay, you know what, um, we're going to work through this. We have some crap to do like on our own. We have to work through some crap ourselves. But I do feel here like <clears throat> your person does really want to work things out with you or they want to take that next step like go to the next level right let's get some romance oracles out here and it's i feel like it's kind of like they they are how can i say this um there is that justice that's coming in. There's that wisdom that you guys had. There's that clarity that you guys are going to bring in, I feel. And this is this is really good because the new beginnings is here and four is here. You know, that that's a great significance of harmonious energy to me. You're clearing, you're letting go of the old, right? You're a little caterpillar, a little juicy caterpillar. And, and you're starting anew. And I feel like, remember, like I said earlier, yeah, release your ex. Somebody's not releasing their ex in order to get this I like how it landed on here okay so the time has come to release your energy so you know if you're this is your recent ex okay it, they're not the same does that make sense you know and wh however you believe it or perceive it that's what it's going to be like remember because everything we have in our life that's what we've manifested up to this point so there's no like blame game on anybody there's no like oh it's a lesson that I have to be learned like there was a there is a reading I, I just like uh, saw right um and it like the the tarot reader was kind of like oh yeah like whatever you created like you've brought like whether it's like consciously or subconsciously so uh yeah Virgo be aware especially because in your, your solitude you can be an overthinker maybe some of you are on that like cusp kind of with Libra and you know Libras are like overthinkers I'm a Libra too so uh playfulness right to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so yeah like spirit wants you to just like just just let go just let go stop overthinking like that solitude you know it's kind of like start thinking positively be that butterfly right and it, it could this is also giving me like butterfly effect as well like if a butterfly flaps his wings it's gonna cause a tornado like somewhere in a couple of continents down does that make sense 
Yeah, so let's get some romance oracles for your person. Yeah, they're calling you in. They're calling you back. Okay, so yeah. Oh, make the effort. They are really making the effort to come back into your good graces, Virgo. Okay, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. If you don't want this person back and you're just waiting for them to come back just so you can deny them, just go ahead and like don't even talk to this person at all. Okay, if you're coming over here onto this reading and you're just like, well, that's not the person that I want. Well, subconsciously, that's what you want. Okay, so getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Oh, my. Okay, so like I'm saying, okay, spirit is like, okay, you wanted this, so now you're getting this. But you're very, like, detrimental about it. You're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Like, this is too much, you know? Because I feel like you were like, oh, I want this, I want this, I want this. And, like, subconsciously, you're probably calling this person back in. Making them, like, you know, it's like, wow, like, what am I doing? Like, you're putting in the work, like, for yourself. And they notice that because you guys are very connected as well. So, yeah, let's get some messages from your person, okay? I'm afraid to approach you. <laughs> or you're afraid to approach your person, right? Stop questioning our, communi our connection. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Oh, my God. Like, this is... Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to get some messages. I'm going to leave this right here. Okay, so really quick, really quick, really quick. Okay, I don't know why I did this. I This is like a quickie reading, but I feel like you just need uh, to hear something out for you, okay? So I feel you leaving me behind. You were the best thing in my life. I feel safer in silence. I'm afraid to contact you. I believe you. So there could have been kind of like, you know, some words that have been exchanged and they were like not the best at all. So let me see, actually. Okay, so do you still think about me? Please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> I don't know how I feel anymore. I feel like this is coming from both of you guys. I want you. I want to tell you how I feel. I wish I knew what our true connection was. Like, this person I'm telling you, like, they felt that energy of you working on yourself. So they started doing the same. They were following. I'm trying not to lose faith. I secretly get jealous of people who have your time. I have never forgotten you even though you think I have. Be patient with me. I think this is from both parties, from you and from your person. You guys have to be patient with one another, not only from with one another, your relationship or whatever you want um, to come out from this from both of you guys together, but also with yourselves. No other compares to you. I will be back for you. All right, Virgo. So this has been your reading for the first half of November. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, uh, let me know if you made it this far. Drop a blue heart down below in the comment section, okay? I love you, little wonderlust. See you soon.